Don't you just hate fidget spinners? Well, hi, my name is Brad, and look at the things I hate. Hey everybody, welcome back to Things I Hate. I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time and these fidget spinners are now out of trend. But I don't care, I'm gonna make a video on them. Sorry for being late, let's talk about Things I Hate. Hey! hey. This is no. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so first of all, they ban them in school. Now, as you know or may not know, I have ADHD. I wanted to use one of these but I couldn't and so many kids have got these taken from the teachers. I know it's not the fidget spinners fault but like why would you ban them? They're not harmful or anything. They can help the child concentrate better. But that's not why I hate them. I hate them because some kids get detention for these. Yeah, they do. If it was dangerous I would understand but look, it doesn't hurt. I'm just joking, it didn't hurt. Look, it does not hurt the person unless you throw it at them which why would you throw it at them? <laughs> Only an idiot would throw it at them. So in my opinion, it doesn't make sense to get in trouble for spinning a fidget spinner. Next, people make a lot of money off of these. And don't get me wrong, that's a good thing. For example, these are very cheap. If this is like uh, $1 and you buy like 10 of them, then you go and sell it at 5. You can make a lot of money out of these. But that's not the reason. Why would you sell it at 5? I just don't understand why people buy them at 5 when you can clearly get them for much cheaper. Who cares though, it's their choice. Great, now I have to buy another one. Please do not spend more than two dollars or two pounds or two euro on these things. Unless it has some sort of design like this or they're made out of metal. This will make zero noise at all. It's so relaxing, seriously. Which brings up the other reason, they make a lot of noise. Okay, listen to this. No noise at all, right? Now listen to this one. It, that's so annoying. <laughs> this one's probably the worst. Oh my god. Ah, stop. There was literally a kid next to me doing this for the whole of the journey and it was 30 whole minutes and I heard this. Even through my earphones, I kept hearing this noise. Great. Are you serious? Next, yeah. they don't do anything. All they do is spin. That's all they do. Well, of course, you got the tricks. Let's try that again. Well, of course... Well, of course you got all the... Well, of course you got all the tricks that you can do, but all they do is they spin and make some noise. This is not coming from me, but people hate them because they're a waste of time and money. I mean, I agree, like, people bought these ones for, like, $15 or £15. I'm not gonna lie, they do look good, like, these ones are my favourite, but all they do is spin. But the kids love them. As soon as these came out, I saw everyone having them, and they were like, Look at my one! My one's better, it's green! Guys, my one is the best. Oh, it's broken! Which brings me to the next reason they break so easily. This one, I've super glued it. But look, this is probably why they're so cheap. But when my one broke, I decided to have a little fun with it. It was a green one like this in plastic. Here's a better example. It's like this, and it broke here and here. So I got the free bearings and I've glued it back together like this. It still spins, look! <laughs> okay, it's broken again. But, but Brian, you got a fake one! What are you guys talking about? They sell fake spinners! What? Fake? Scam is another reason. This one was like three pounds and it's fake. Let me show you. This is what it should look like and it looks like this. Good plastic, cheap plastic. I've dropped it once and it broke. I'm gonna drop this on the floor and see if it breaks. Nope, still works. Listen to this one. Oh, perfect. This is why this is fake. You can tell this one's fake because it pops out right away, while this one, I can go as fast as I can in any direction and it will never fall out. I have to hold this one like this because, look, it, 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 they fall out so easily. So do not get scammed when buying a fidget spinner. Make sure it looks like this and it and it spins properly. Also, price does not matter. This one can be as amazing and as expensive it can be. But if it does not spin or make the right noise, you just wasted your money. Next reason. I just don't understand how someone can have so many fidget spinners. Ah, there he is, hating on himself again. 
What are you talking about? I'm saying you hate fidget spinners. Look how many you have. What are you talking about? <sighs> okay, I lied. I love fidget spinners. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this Things I Hate video. I'm feeling really good and happy to be back. Again, as I always say in the episodes, I just hate a bit of the fidget spinners. But yeah, to recap, all they do is they spin, they break easily, and do not waste a lot of money on them. If you're asking yourself, Brian, why'd you buy so many fidget spinners? It was for this video, really. Hold on, I need to get the thumbnail. Perfect! But yeah, I hope you like this Things I Hate video. Now that I'm back, there's gonna be more things. But tell me in the comments below, what do you hate? Who knows, I might hate it as well. By the way, if you haven't seen it, make sure to go and watch the previous episode where I talked about hating free Wi-Fi. It was because when I went on holiday, there was no free Wi-Fi. Again, free Wi-Fi is supposed to be free. You don't need to pay for it without any passwords and it should work. But yeah, this episode was about fidget spinners. I really do like them, but some people find them annoying, and I kind of agree. But yeah, I enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I am Brian, this was Things I Hate. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. I know when the